Welcome to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. I'm Eric, and I'm here with the corn binder that I'm uh, restoring and rebuilding. And uh, it needs quite a bit of penetrating oil. And you can do that a couple ways. Uh, if you choose to go with the commercial products, and here are a couple that I like, uh, really Sol and Fluid Film, um, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. Now they work fast. Uh, these particular model um, varieties I really like because I use them also and primarily I find them useful in protecting machinery. Um, they've got lanolin as the base. It dries with a very thin film. It provides very good uh, moisture protection for equipment. So if I'm going to have things that are variably uh, warm and then cold and subject to condensation, this stuff really preserves it. And it's well worth the money for that. For something like freeing little bits and bobs here, not really so much, especially since I'm not in a particular rush. Fortunately, you can make your own stuff. Really what you want here is a light oil, and you can buy light oil, or you can uh, produce it yourself cheaply. One of the easy ways to do that is use diesel fuel. And I've used that uh, on a number of occasions to release uh, stuck pistons um, and gas engines. Just removing the spark plug, fill it up with diesel fuel, put the spark plug in uh, loosely and walk away and then refill it right. Diesel fuel percolates down around the cylinder walls, frees everything up and you can uh, pull things apart and rebuild it. But diesel fuel stinks a little bit here in the backyard. I'd rather not sink things up. So my choice here is to go with uh, a light lubricating oil. And this is a uh, tractor lube oil that I salvaged from some stuff dregs in the bottom of uh, some five gallon buckets that I got. Um, it's not really partic particular. You can use regular uh, 5W or 10W uh, 30 engine oil. You can even use uh, used engine oil. Folks that suggest uh, vegetable oil, I guess you could use that in a pinch. I like vegetable oil as a tapping fluid for light duty tapping and I like it for coating uh, steel that uh, I want a nice thick layer on, but vegetable oil dries, most of them anyway, and forms that rubbery layer. I don't really want that rubbery layer on here, so um, I'm not going to use vegetable oil. I'll use a petroleum oil. And then what you want to do is cut it with something. You can cut it with gasoline, you can cut it with acetone, you can cut it with uh, paint thinner. I tend to like using uh, naphtha, which is also known as Coleman fuel or white gas because it doesn't smell um, and that's particularly nice it's a little bit more expensive but since uh, this is my preferred camping fuel rather than propane I generally keep a fairly big stockpile on hand so just mix it in I usually cut it about 10% uh, uh, to 20% I'm not all that particular of white gas with the oil dump them mix them together shake them up and put them in a regular pump can and you've got something that'll work as a great um, lubricant, uh, penetrating oil at a fraction of the cost that you'd pay if you went to a uh, commercial product in the spray can. So for this and other cool tim hints and tips to empower your independence, go to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. Thanks.